Paulo, we're back. I, I mean, this uh, it seems like uh, the summer went so quickly, and we're already back to another season of Friday Night Jazz Concerts at Tandem Press. And, uh, and, and you've got so much else going on as well. Yeah, we're really excited. And it's also this first concert will coincide with Gallery Night. So we will have people coming to look at art and then being surprised by fantastic jazz, which the jazz audience are already familiar with. Ah, terrific. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Paula Panchenko is the director of Tandem Press. And and we want to talk about the jazz series because obviously that's that's why we're here. But you, you guys have... So, I mean, that's that's a side thing. You have so much else going on. Um, you just got back from Expo Chicago, and uh, and you've got other fairs coming up as well. So tell, tell us about Expo Chicago and what was that all about? Well, Expo Chicago um, has been going on um, for over 25 years. It was actually the very first art fair that was created in the United States, and now there are hundreds of them throughout the world. And basically... Uh, you um, take all your work, uh, your new work, um, by the artists whom you represent, and you set up a gallery with about 120 other galleries. And thousands of people come, and they come by, and they ask about your artists, and many of them buy works. And it's a great opportunity not only to promote and to market, but to also sell the work. Um, by the artists whom we have invited to come to Tandem Press. And how many, how many different organizations would display at, like how many displayed at Expo Chicago? There were 130 galleries this year wow. from all over the world. And you guys made the, the recommended uh, top 10, correct? In, in the, in the um, Chicago Tribune, they um, mentioned 10 things to see at Expo Chicago. And they mentioned um, Tandem Press and the Irish artist whom we have worked with, Mazer, who did fantastic wow. new prints with us. And they highlighted those. So, yeah, we were very excited. Yeah, I bet. Congratulations. Thank it's you. A, yeah, it, it's such a, a treasure. And, and because, uh, you know, Audrey and, and Noah and I, our, my colleagues, we get to, uh, to go to the jazz concerts, we've gotten to know your staff and how they work and, and how you work with other artists and with students. And, uh, and I just feel like, uh, like this is... Um, a much too well kept secret. Like everybody should know about all these things that Tandem Press does, and so uh, so we'll do our best <laughs> to get the word out because you guys really are doing fantastic. Well, things. we have a crack team. I mean, they are amazing. Everybody is so talented. They all work so hard, and the artists would not come to Tandem Press if it wasn't for our staff mm -hmm. and the printers who collaborate with the artists. I mean, they they. The artists pass the word to other artists, and so we've been extremely lucky to get the artists of that caliber, and it's thanks to people like Jason, Joe, Bruce, Sona, Mishka, mm -hmm. and Seth. Mm -hmm. They are fantastic, and I know because we go in there and disrupt their lives <laughs> when we set up all the gear for for the jazz concerts, and 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 uh, everyone there has been so fantastic to uh, to work with. Now you've got other fairs coming up uh, as well that you uh, at which you will be displaying, correct? Correct. So the center of the art world is really New York City. So if you want to get your work seen, you have to travel to other places. Oh, they do artsy things in New York? I, oh, indeed. I, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? <laughs> so they, um, with the next fair we will do, uh, will be at the end of October in New York, and that's the print fair, and it will coincide with Print Week in New York City, where many of the museums will put on print shows. And this is the premier print fair, um, and we will have a large booth there and we will um, show all our recent work. And then um, we have a breather in um, November, but at the very beginning of uh, December, we will travel to Miami where the art world again all comes together. And there are actually 23 different art fairs all surrounding art, 
Basel, which is the original art fair that was founded in Switzerland, still goes on today, but they now do one in Miami. And then surrounded by that, there will be 22 other fairs, including our fair, which is called Ink Miami. So it's the Ink Art Fair. So Ink relates to the fact that we print with ink. And so all the people who are interested in prints come to our fair. And we are about two blocks from the main fair, Art Basel, Miami Beach. Wow. And then we will have a little breather over the holidays. And then we will travel again to um, New York and we will travel to San Francisco. And we will also do a fair in San Antonio. And you and you have a staff of eight. We have a staff of eight. That's amazing. So <clears throat> these people just don't sleep or eat, right? They, they <laughs> well, I, you know, How do you do it that's with my eight people? job. I mean, okay. not to let them sleep okay. or eat. Excellent. Okay. No, no, no. They are totally committed. I mean, they are such committed, such committed staff members, and they love it. And they love the fact that you know, here in Madison. Our, our role is to be part of the university, to involve students in what we do. So we involve them in the business end, the art end, assisting the printers, assisting the curators. But everyone knows, including the students, that we have to be at the top of our game and very professional. And because we're dealing with highly professional artists. So it's a very exciting thing. And people just are very excited by it. So, yes, it's it's. We, we we let them eat. Yes. Okay. Not excellent. sleep so much. Not sleep so them. much. But yeah. Well, it gets that way around yeah. here as well. So I'm I, sure I get it, does. it. But yeah. Well, it's terrific that you do all this stuff. And of course, right now, people are watching this uh, interview during the intermission of the Friday night jazz concert. So let's talk about uh, about the concert. We've heard a little bit of music coming into this. Um, we're going to hear a lot more throughout the rest of this season. Uh, tell us about the jazz concerts this year. Well, um, the jazz concerts, uh, the program was initiated um, between Tandem and the School of Music. And the person who um, really enabled all of this to happen is Johannes Wallman, whom you know very well. And he is the head of the jazz studies program. And what he he was very excited by this and the relationship of Tandem Press to its students and now the jazz program to its students is a uh, very parallel uh, because the students all are the are the people who are performing in the concerts right. and the professors under Johannes and um, the other professors who are involved um, all teach the students and then they perform at Tandem Press. Mm. So we have live jazz three, uh, six times a year three times in the fall and three times in the spring. Okay. Yeah, and it's it's such a great thing. And, and I always uh, have admiration for any organization that is devoted to the arts, one, one part of the arts, in your case, print uh, art, uh, and yet sees the value in other arts and, uh, and, and does other things that also promote arts in a different way, in this case, uh, the performing arts, uh, jazz, uh, and giving these students uh, such a great opportunity to play, not only for the audience there, but live streaming, and uh, we recorded, obviously. Uh, it's just, uh, it's it's a fantastic thing that you guys do that um, is probably not easy to fit into the schedule with all this other stuff. No, I mean, it, I mean <laughs> b- because we're very committed to it, and You know, people, I remember meeting a very well-known New York collector who has collected a lot of our work. And he said to me, you know, if I lived in Madison, I would go to everything. I wouldn't just go to the symphony and the opera and jazz concerts. I'd go to the football games. I'd do it all. Mm. So I think that's kind of part of our community, yeah. too, that people who are supporting one thing are supporting many things. Mm-hmm. And we are very lucky in that regard. Yeah, we are. And uh, and being involved in, <laughs> as a recording studio uh, with a number of artists in different genres, you know, we are 
keenly aware of the uh, just, uh, amazing depth of talent that uh, that is in this community yeah. in the visual arts in music in all genres of music uh, it's really really terrific now before we close out i also wanted to ask you about something that you have coming up called nights and weekends in at the next concert you and i are going to talk about that uh in detail and and hopefully talk to your staff about what they're doing but but give us uh, give us the the, the teaser, the overview. What well, is Nights and Weekends? Well, I am really intrigued by the fact that everybody who works at Tandem really also has their own art, artistic practice. I do not. Mm-hmm. So actually, I will not be speaking at the okay, next you one. Will not I want be. to okay. leave all the time for the people who do okay. this. Okay, we'll be we'll be talking to the to the staff. So okay. I have seen their incredible work. I've gone to their exhibitions, and of course, we opened a new gallery last year, mm-hmm. as you know. And um, we sat down one day and we thought, why don't we show the work by the people who work with the artists and create other work? Mm-hmm. That would be intriguing. And um, the staff themselves came up with the idea of nights and weekends because they're, of course, working all the time with no food, no sleep. (laughs) But in that little bit of time that might exist, they are creating artwork and they're showing their artwork. They are professional artists. Mm. And so it's really, really exciting. Um, The work is very different and very diverse. And so uh, what binds this show together is basically the group of people who are working at Tandem Press and doing this as well as what they do for Tandem. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's called Nights and Weekends. And the work will vary. Uh, one person, for example, has done all the work in prints. Other pe- other pe- there's a, f- there will be photography. There will be um, uh, three-dimensional work. Um, and uh, very abstract and conceptual in that regard. Mm -hmm. And so it will be an intriguing show. And I think people will be really excited to see it. Yeah, and it's it's another I think really great thing about Tandem Press that you the people who work there are not working there because eh, you know it was what happened to be hiring. It's you know it's like you know oh I could have done this thing I could have done that thing. They're obviously very committed to these art forms and they're very they're very much into the art from from a number of different angles Definitely. and uh, and that's that's got to make uh, your staff really. Uh, passionate and and well-rounded people, as I know them to be. Yeah, they are very passionate, very well-rounded, and and immensely knowledgeable mm. on many levels. So they really have formed wonderful relationships with the visiting artists who come in, and that is very exciting. Terrific. Thank you so much for all that you do and for talking to us about uh, these things. And I hope that anyone who is watching this, if you're here mainly because you wanted to watch the jazz concert, then, you know, come down and view these galleries. Because uh, as Paula mentioned, they do have a new gallery now. And uh, this art is on display. And uh, and it will, um, it will, uh, it will surprise you. And uh, I think that you will uh, really enjoy it. I enjoy working with you and your wonderful staff, and uh, thanks for chatting with me today. Thank you very much, and thanks to Audio for the Arts for all that you do getting our our programs out into the general public. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure.